Hi everyone, welcome back to JPWHUTV. My name is John, your host as always, and I hope you're all doing well and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. This is the preview of Crystal Palace versus West Ham United at Selhurst Park on Boxing Day live at 3pm in the Premier League on Amazon Prime. So as always, let's do a quick shout out to the channel sponsor, 3retro.com. Please click the link in the description below that will take you directly through to the West Ham section of their website where you can purchase retro kits from the 60s all the way through to the early 2000s, including the 1976 home shirt that inspired this season's home kit, the 1980 Trevor Brooking FA Cup final shirt that inspired this season's away kit. There's also the boys of 86 in there. There's also the Palo and Di Canio 99 to 2000 strips as well. There's also Admiral and Umbro West Ham tr colour inspired track jackets, polo shirts, sweatshirts and t-shirts. So go check those out. Any purchases made through the link in the description below. F the Any commission that the channel would normally get on top of those purchases would be going directly to Isla's fight to help that little girl continue on with her battle with cancer. So thank you very much for any purchases that you may be making. Now, of course, first of all, I want to pass my deepest condolences to the family and friends of World Cup winner and a real gentleman of the game and in life in general, Martin Peters, CBE, who passed away at the age of 76 at the weekend just gone. My thoughts are with his family and his friends at this very, very difficult time. A beautiful player, one of the best. Uh, um, Ramsey mentioned him as a manager saying he was 10 years advanced of his, of his age. You know, it, that's how good his thinking was at the time. Very, very talented footballer and a big, big loss to the football world and a huge loss to the West Ham family. Now, turning to the away game, the away game even at Crystal Palace, uh, as I said, which is live on Amazon Prime, which I'll be doing a live watch along with from five minutes to three on Facebook and Periscope. If you haven't signed up to either of the Facebook channel page or the Periscope account, there are links in the description below that will enable you to do that. And it'd be great to see you along for the ride. It'd be interesting to have a conversation with it. Of course, I will also be discussing the other goals as and when they go in as well. So. Come on, guys, it's going to be a great way to spend Boxing Day. Now, of course, the the weekend fix is just gone. Palace were beaten 1-0 by Newcastle at the weekend. Um, but PremierInjuries.com show there are long-term injuries to Gary Cahill, Andros Townsend, uh, Scott Dan, Jolien Ward and Jeffrey Schlupp. So quite a lot of injuries for Palace at the minute. Ma Mamadou Sako should be back from his red card suspension at the 1-0 one, one victory over Bournemouth uh, on the 3rd of December. Now, 62% of you guys that are watching this content are not subscribed to the channel. So if you like what I'm doing and you want to hear more from me, then by all means, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell, especially when we've got the 12 days of a West Ham Christmas content coming up from Christmas Day. You're going to want to watch and listen to that, that stuff. So by all means, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when the new videos are going up. Now, turning to West Ham, last time out we were, we beat a very underperforming Southampton thanks to Allaire, a very well taken, albeit slightly scuffed goal. VAR was once again part of the discussions of the game because they were incorrectly decision ruled out. Um, a double f foul on Antonio and Allaire, which should have caused us a penalty. And of course, that I'm still struggling to see why the f why the foul was given just before Danny Ings' wonder strike. So it's 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 harsh. It really is harsh on on them. But that's that's the way football, that's the way the technology is at the moment. Well the people that are using the technology because I've said on many occasions guys as you know that I'm a big fan of the VAR technology. It's just the idiots in charge of it. Now premierinjuries.com are showing that Anderson could be back for this game after his bug. And of course, some people seem to report that he had a bust up with Pellegrini from being substituted off at the Arsenal 3-1 loss um, the, other, the other weekend as well. Either way, in my personal opinion, it's the right decision to leave him out for, this, um, for the squad against, against Southampton. And personally, we'll come to it in just a moment. Personally, I feel you shouldn't change it. But there is one change coming. Uh, David Martin is being assessed for his thigh injury, but there is, seems to be a good chance that either Martin or Fabianski are going to be in goal for this fixture. So we'll see what happens, but I'm very, very happy with what's with, with this news. Uh, Fredericks is ruled out because he's 
reached the maximum yellow cards and, sh and, is, and is unavailable for this game for one game suspension. So as always guys, let's wrap up this video by talking about the starting 11. Now as I mentioned, Ryan Fredericks is suspended, so for me it's Martin in goal if he's fit. Uh, Ben Johnson, I'm about to say Roger Johnson, then Ben Johnson filling in for uh, for Fredericks in my personal starting eleven. Balbuena and Ogbonna making up the centre back pairing with Creswell as well on the left back. I would personally I would start Holland on the right, um, Noble in the Mo Noble and Rice in the middle, and Fornells out on the left with Antonio and Alea. I honestly think um, Nathan Holland has done nothing wrong, and Ben Johnson really really deserves to, a starting eleven game. This, this will be perfect for the pair of them. Just think Johnson, Holland and Antonio down the same wing. Creswell, Fornells and they're going down the other. Very, very strong. I think that's a very, very good shout. I honestly think that's going to that's gonna be the best starting eleven to put out. But my instincts are saying that Pellegrini is going to go with Martin in goal. Zabaleta at right back. Balbuena, Ogbonna and Creswell making up the three remaining of the four back four. Snodgrass out on the right, Noble and Rice in the middle, Fornells out on the left, probably cutting in behind Antonio and Allaire like he has been for the last three to four games. The reason why I've started um, Fornells once again is he's got three assists from four games now. The guy is really coming in on his own. I've been saying all season that we need to give him a season to see how he's getting on. And I've said many times I don't think he's looking like he's capable of doing so. But at the same point, he's really, really kicking into himself now. He's really kicking on. He's getting into the in, into the groove that we we were all hoping he was going to do months ago in the way that Alaire started the season. So thank you very much for your time, guys. If you're new around here, welcome. It's great to see you. If you like what I'm doing and you want to hear for more from me, then bar me, please hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell so you get to know when new content is going up. Put your comments in the comments section below, guys. I want to know what your thoughts are. Let me know your starting 11. Let me know your predicted result as well, for that matter. Apparently, this is one of the three make-or-break games for Pellegrini, so if he... If he Loses it, he's out of a job apparently, but we'll see what happens with that. Um, if you like the video and you feel I deserve it, then by means please click the like button and hit the note. And also, if you don't like it, by then by means please click the dislike button and let me know in the in the description why you don't like it. And please also share this content with anybody you feel may want to watch it. In the meantime, guys, have a fantastic Christmas, and I will see you at three o'clock on Christmas Day for the first of 12 days of a West Ham Christmas content, the first of which is a Christmas message. A bit of a parody on the Queen's Christmas speech. So guys, in the meantime, enjoy yourselves, and I will see you Christmas Day. All the best.